CBS Sports thanks you for watching this presentation of the National Football League. Tom Selleck stars in a new Blue Bloods, CBS this Friday. Not all Doppler radars are created equal. Early warning pinpoint Doppler is the only live radar in Connecticut, alerting you to storms up to five minutes faster than anyone else. Our own live local radar giving you the earliest warning on approaching storms. Your only real-time look at changing conditions so you have more time to prepare. Slicing through storms for a view no other station or app can deliver. Early warning pinpoint Doppler, Connecticut's only live radar, exclusively on Eyewitness News. From running to relaxing, we've got the largest inventory of New Balance shoes in the area. Hi, this is Michael DeCidio from New Balance, South Windsor and Avon. Our fit specialists will find the right fit and the right shoe for you. Come see us today, New Balance, South Windsor and Avon. Lots of people say good morning. We want you to actually have one. That's why every morning McDonald's offers a different delicious breakfast item for just $3. Like an egg McMuffin or bacon, egg and cheese biscuit. The all new breakfast daily deal menu. Every day, you can get one of your McDonald's favorites for just $3. Morning deliciousness. Now just $3. Seven days a week. Now that's what I call a good morning. My students' futures matter. Every student matters. I matter. So do I. But our students can't succeed without dedicated teachers. Caring teachers. Smart, passionate teachers. Like my teacher, Mrs. Lucas. And my teacher, Mrs. Karen. Every teacher matters. My teacher makes a difference. Well-resourced public schools and dedicated teachers unlock our children's potential. And that spells success for all of us. Drone 3, making you an eyewitness from the sky. Here's a look at the scene from Drone 3. Bringing you stories like no one else can. Breaking news and breathtaking views. Drone 3, exclusively on Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Exposing what's wrong, making it right. The I team exclusively on Eyewitness News. Now on Eyewitness News. All new tonight on Eyewitness News. Progress at the state capitol, but still no budget. And tonight the question remains, how much longer? Plus, a car slams right into a family's home, and it's not the first time it's happened, but will this latest crash lead to changes to make the area safer? What DOT officials are telling us tonight. Your presence in Calistoga is not welcome if you are not a first responder. Evacuations underway in parts of California as firefighters struggle to contain these unbelievable wildfires. More on the devastation and why the weather there is just making things worse. And much more on those stories in just a moment, but we do begin tonight with the weather. Another beautiful fall day out there, but you will need to bundle up as you head to bed tonight. You could almost jump in that water right there, Looks but I bet it got a little chilly, I yeah. bet. Uh, there is a chance for frost as temperatures are already in the 30s and 40s. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mark City. And I'm Erin Connolly. Plenty of events happening this weekend, including the Hartford Marathon. Yeah. For more on what to expect, let's check in with the chief. Bruce DePriest. Hi there, Bruce. Well, I guarantee you that water's warmer than the air is yeah. out there right now. <laughs> Boy, we have temperatures in the mid-30s in parts of the state right now. I'll show you that in just a moment. But we do have a weather alert. It's a frost advisory for northern Litchfield County, all of Hartford, Tallinn, and Wyndham counties right through early tomorrow morning. Where do we stand right now? Well, look at that. Willington is 36. Canaan is 40. Hartford, even Hartford, is 47 at the Connecticut Science Center. And New Haven is coming in at 40. Nine degrees, and uh, these temperatures will continue to uh, drop as we go through the pre-dawn hours. There's Waterbury about four or five hours ago. You can see the clear skies right through the evening, and that's one ingredient for a cold night. The other ingredient is light winds. Many locations have light winds, except Bridgeport, which has a wind out of the northeast at 12 miles an hour. Those winds will continue to subside overnight. So tonight. Clear and chilly, 33 to 43 degrees with a scattered frost early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow looks like a cool day, but we're in for a weekend warm-up. We'll talk about when temperatures could reach 80, plus when a few showers will sneak into the state over the weekend. That's all ahead in the early warning forecast. All right, Bruce, we'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you. Another day and another deadline passing in the state's ongoing budget stalemate. Legislative leaders and the governor recently set tomorrow as their